welcome to 312 Bertie Romania. We're gonna give you a little tour of life here on just the everyday things that we're doing just to stay alive. First, we're gonna, before we go in the gate, we're gonna walk down and see Ron for a second. This is our road. It um, seems to be more mud more often than anything else. And Ron's doing a little road work out here. Um, street maintenance isn't what it is in the United States. So he's down here uh, helping stream some of the water. We've had snow on and off all winter. It seems to get mild like it is today. It's beautiful. It's probably 50 degrees right now. And then it'll drop down to about 25 or 30 and it seems like we get snow. So there's this constant melt off. So here's Ron fixing the road. That's right. Fixing the road. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we'll head back over here. You can see the community well that's right next to us. We don't see too many people using that, maybe two or three different families. A lot of people don't have water here. And, and you'll see later in the video or sometime that we go and get our own water too. We don't drink it from the well. We've got a well in our property <clears throat> because we don't know if it's safe or not. So we go down to a spring and you'll see us doing that a little bit later. So we get to do this about twice a week at least. And it's going really fast right now, but in the summer it slows down so it takes two or three times as long to fill this up. And then when there's snow, or times like this when it's so very muddy, sometimes you can't get in and then we end up having to walk in with our bottles. But thankfully we've got a car because some people, don't, you know, a lot of people don't have cars. And they uh, just walk with their bottles or don't use spring water at all and use the wells. But the water here is very, very hard. And people have a tendency to have a lot of... Uh, kidney stones, gall stones, that kind of thing. So this hopefully is better than we could get elsewhere. To get water tested is quite a process. It's not something that um, is easily done like in the States. So we really don't know for positive that th this water is okay. We've heard it's okay and we've never gotten sick from it. So we're going with that at this point. So now we're going in the gate. A lot of you have seen updates on the house as we've gone along. We haven't done anything on the outside to speak of. So it looks pretty much the same that way. Over here we've got the wood pile which has dropped drastically since we got it. We got that this fall. We're hoping that wood's going to last for two years. There's probably about one-sixth of it there. Ron's been busy chopping and splitting that. Got one of the chores on the line right here. <clears throat> drying clothes. This is the first day, maybe the second day I've um, tried to dry clothes outside. Usually we dry them inside by the fire, but we're taking advantage of the beautiful weather. Back over here, we've got the new well house that Ron built, so our well won't freeze. And we've also got over here the start of our wood supply. Hopefully for next winter we'll be using that. It will be dry and hopefully burn a little better than this year. Over here is the greenhouse that Ron built. We're hoping to do a lot of starting plants here and using it as extra storage space. We'd like to come on inside here. We have some wood in here that we've been using. And here are our little lettuces and our little radishes. They've been growing for probably two months six weeks maybe to two months and um, probably get to harvest those in another two months. So that's the start of growing something. Okay, we'll go on inside. Here is our living room our laundry room, our laundry drying room, our computer room, our do-everything room. 
when it's cold the girls bedrooms and our bedroom is pretty chilly so we don't do as much in there as we will when it gets nice again cleaning is one of those things we I feel like we have to do a little more often here than I did in the States if somebody was very particular about how clean their house was it would drive them nuts here here's the kitchen you guys saw a lot of this while we were working on it getting it ready uh, we've got a lot of chores in here that we do all the time, including processing our milk. And you'll get to see some of that too. We are going to go get milk. the milk we're going to heat it up because that'll kill like all of the stuff that might be in it we don't think there's anything in it but just in case probably take about 10 minutes. We heat it to about 180 degrees. And once it's been heated to um, 180 or a little bit over, we will turn it off, put the lid on it, and bring it out on the porch so it'll be cool. In a couple of hours it will be cool and we can bring it back inside, take the um, cream off the top, and bottle it. In here is the bathroom, and the washing machine's in here right now. Eventually, we're hoping to get a sink in there and the washing machine will go in another spot, but we haven't gotten to that yet. Okay, we'll go on outside. This is what I call hotel living because you can see that we have to go outside onto the porch to get to any of our bedrooms. And it seems like a hotel or a motel. I get to walk outside every night in the morning or during the night if you have to get up and go to the bathroom. It's fun because you get to see the stars. Here's our bedroom. Again, we've got more work to do yet. No closet. But it works. It's a nice big bed. And down here to the next room is Anna's room. It's where Matt's staying right now. I hope you can get a little bit of the feel, the size of uh, the home here. It's, uh, like we said, it's 600 square feet, 650 if you count the porch. Living small. Here's Michaela's room. You guys can talk. Hi. <laughs> Here's a water supply. In the winter it stays nice and cold and this summer it'll be nice and hot. But we are hoping to come up with another water system. Haven't, haven't been able to do that yet. Okay, as a good Romanian should, I'll walk you to the gate. Although if you were not a relative, you wouldn't be in here anyway. Um, they don't usually invite people they don't know extremely well, like family, into their courtyard. So consider yourself privileged. We're glad that you came, and we hope some of you might consider coming to visit us. Even though our quarters are tight, we can find a place for you to stay, and we'd love to see you, love to have you over here.